Hi, this is Natalie Ledbetter, and today I'm going to be talking about something called monolaurin. Monolaurin is a form of lauric acid that is derived from coconut oil and palm kernel oil. It is thought to be the primary antiviral and antibacterial compound in breast milk. So we can metabolize small amounts of monolaurin from lauric acid in our diet from coconut oil, but it's thought to be such a small amount that it's really probably not therapeutic if you're really trying to fight bacteria or if you're trying to fight viruses. Uh, the great thing about monolaurin, even though it has antiviral and antibacterial uh, capabilities, it does not kill off your beneficial gut flora and it does not result in uh, bacterial resistance so that if you take monolaurin even long term, it's not going to be something that's going to cause the bacteria or the virus to become resistant to it and make things worse over time. Um, it may be especially helpful in situations such as uh, concurrent infections that go along with Lyme disease or chronic fatigue. In Chinese medicine, we call these latent pathogens. It's where a pathogen or a virus or a bacteria or something enters into your system. And for some reason, your body doesn't completely kill it off. And so it lurks inside and um, it still wreaks havoc with your system or every now and then when you're weak or you're not taking care of yourself or you don't get enough sleep, it might come back out to make you sick again. That's a latent pathogen. So monolaurin is actually good for something such as that, not only against acute infections that have just occurred. Um, it can also be used um, for in biofilms. So in people who've had surgery, they've had some sort of device implanted or they've had a burn or a wound or someplace where the bacteria makes a biofilm where they kind of clump together in a colony and then they make a covering so that the antibiotics can't get to them. Monolaurin actually can eat through, it's a surfactant, eat through the lipid bilayer and kind of get in there and help fight those. Now, uh, probably what everybody's thinking about right now in this situation is, well, how can that help me right now? Can it help me fight coronavirus or prevent me from getting it? Well, yes, it can be used temporarily to prevent cold or flu or coronavirus or some other sickness. And also it can be used long-term in individuals who have a weakened immune system or who have cancer or for any reason who tend to get sick easier than other people. Um, those people can actually take monolaurin long-term. So I hope that this was very helpful. I do have a list of uh, bacteria and viruses that monolaurin can treat. But I'll just really quickly flash it on the screen. Well, it's going to be backwards. Never mind. I'll read just a couple of them real quickly. Some of the bacteria that it can fight, Listeria, H. pylori, Haemophilus influenza, Staph aureus, Streptococcus, uh, group A, B, F, and G streptococci, gram-positive organisms, and in some instances, gram-negative. And in viruses, it can help fight off HIV, measles, herpes simplex 1 and 2, uh, herpes viridae, human lymphotrophic virus, vascular, uh, vesicular stomatitis, cytomegalovirus, Epstein-Barr virus, influenza virus, pneumonia virus, sarcoma, cinctual, and rubiola virus. So that's a lot of different bad guys that monolaurin can fight. Anyway, I hope you guys are all staying sane and safe and healthy. I hope to see you soon. Bye.